A few years ago, we did a test on small calibers to see what was the ideal number of ports to reduce recoil. And we found that the ideal number was right around four. Now in the comments, we had a pile of people asking, can you do this for different calibers, for larger calibers? So today we're gonna to be testing a 300 PRC and a 338 Lapua and find out if that four port is still ideal or if you're better off to go to a five or six port break. Send some rounds. We've got ports from a single port break all the way up to a six port break in our comp break configuration. We decided to hang the rifle on a slide. We have it attached via a ARCA clamp in the front, and then we have a sliding plate at the back here that we can attach directly into our buttstock. We have a digital um, measuring tape here basically. Take those numbers, record them, put it into a pretty graph that you're gonna see while we're shooting this. Today we're gonna to be shooting uh, 225 ELDMs, basic standard 300 PRC load. We've got a Bagheera barreled action. We've already done the bare muzzle testing to uh, set a baseline. Now we're gonna go and use a single port muzzle brake. Uh, I think we're gonna be surprised on how well a single port works. So we're gonna see what this does. So just like looking at the numbers real quick, that single port was basically a drop of recoil in about half. So pretty impressive how much it did actually. We're gonna go and change this gun out now to a 338 Lapua and see how it compares. So now we dropped the 338 uh, build in here. It's on a Defiance Action. It's got a little bit longer barrel, uh, a little bit heavier barrel too, and obviously a lot bigger cartridge. We had to make some adjustments to the rig here because we are limited by the length we have. Still almost bottoms it out now. <laughs> so the bullet we're gonna be shooting today is a 338 uh, CNR, a 300 grainer from Lapua, and we'll see how that recoil compares. It's definitely a lot louder. We actually saw pretty close to the same performance as we did with a 300. The 300 had a little bit better, which is what I would expect for how much less powder you're burning in that round. It's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out as we get more ports on these brakes and test them. We're gonna take this off, put a two port brake on and see what it does. I think we're gonna see much less uh, recoil reduction with just this two port. Uh, we're still gonna see some, but uh, not nearly as much as we saw by just adding that single port brake on. So with that two port break, we saw between about a 15 and 20% drop from the single port break. We saw about a 14, 15% drop in recoil. We'll throw the three port break on, check it now. I think we're gonna see a similar reduction in recoil, probably that 15 to 20% again, uh, but we'll find out. So we saw about a 10% uh, increase in efficiency on the three port versus two port. Okay, so we got the four port brake on there. Uh, this was the most efficient one we found when we had it in the smaller calibers. Um, so now we're gonna see if it is just as efficient with the large calibers and see if it drops up after this point. I expect we'll probably gain a little bit. So going from that three port to the four port, we actually saw about a 10% decrease again, uh, which is definitely more than what we saw with the 300. So that extra gas in this 3.3 is definitely taking advantage of that fourth port. Let's go to the five port and see if we still maintain that advantage uh, on the next one or if it starts to drop off again. Okay, so we have the five port brake installed right now. We saw a very small gain on the four port from the three port. It might be up in that 10% area again. We'll see what happens. You know, double check my numbers on that. Okay, so that was a little bit surprising. Going from the five, uh, from the four, there only seems to be like a one to 2% difference. That was a little bit surprising. There was that much of a drop from the last one, but now we're gonna go throw the six port on anyway and see what happens. Very curious to see what this does. I really don't know for sure. Okay, that's all of them. Okay, so we're gonna load up here from in the field, uh, go back to the shop, do all calculations on these numbers, trying to figure out exactly what is the optimal number of ports for the larger calibers we have here. Finally going to a six port uh, on the 300. We saw a 2% increase in efficiency, probably within the standard deviation of the other one, so basically no increase. The 338 on the six port, we actually saw no difference. 
So now looking at the number of ports versus the size of caliber you're shooting, you can see that, you know, that three to four port is really where you're getting the majority of the work done. After that four port, are you really gonna feel a difference in your shoulder uh, or see downrange impacts differently? I don't think so, especially in the 300. It drops off substantially after that third or fourth port on the 338. Yeah, that fourth port definitely does a lot of work. After that though, just doesn't seem to be a big deal to have more ports than that. Now taking this data and looking back at the original data we did with the smaller calibers, you can see the differences uh, between the two. So overall, if you have any other calibers you want us to check out, throw them in the comments and we'll see what we can do.